Hey guys, it's K9, just here with a quick little tutorial, which was actually from my recent live stream, just showing people how to get your PS2 or PCS6 2 online. I hope this helps somebody who has been wanting to learn online PS2 with me as well. Maybe he uh, can pick some notes. Uh, if I go into add slash edit, that might bring up the network configuration. Because these games, you can do it with the emulator or with the real hardware. Um, either way, you've got to go into your... Um, PS2 network configuration thingy, so your PS2 has to have an Ethernet slot. You are observing. Um, it is much easier yeah. with an emulator, of course, because it's simulating everything. Uh, edit UI. I mean, edit. Um, so I mean, if I've got all these words, different oh. ones, but you only really need. Um, so Horizons for Ratchet. Most games seem to work with either One Up or Christian Server, but um, I've got all these other ones anyway. So, okay, just to show the process to Juan or anyone in chat, um, once you pick the, the setting that you want to either make or edit, you go through setting guide, and then you're selecting the network adapter, which we totally have right now. Um, we don't need a user ID because we're not using a real ISP. Uh, IP address is auto. DNS is manual because we're manually adding it in ourselves. And this is the current DNS for the Christian server. So we now have the DNS, so you would literally click on this and then just edit it. It's fine. Then you hit next. Your PS2 wants to test a connection, so it'll do that. It'll go whip whip. It'll say yeah, like point successful. Out that the, this, the sound from the network configuration is really fantastic. weird. Oh, it's no, fantastic, fantastic, but it's fantastic. like, oh. yeah. Yeah, you'd name it whatever you want to name it. It doesn't really matter what you name it. Mine was called UIA because originally I was using it for UIA. It doesn't really matter. It's called the Christian server. Um, and then I oh, scroll yeah. through this. I hit OK. It saves my settings onto my memory card. And then it just boots you back to the main menu and you can just hit back, quit. So I hope this little snippet from my stream was helpful. If you have any other queries, um, you can let me know in the comments below and I'll try help you out with your situation. Thanks for watching.